Man, am I scroungy. Ugh. Uh, as you can see, we are coming to the end of our Maryland hunting trip, right? I'm going to take a little tour today and shoot this video with 10 tips on how you can definitely shoot your first deer with a crossbow. All right, Genevieve and I are headed down to part of Maryland where they actually have Sika deer. We're going to go on a little trip here and see if we can see Sika deer, huh? Yeah, I'm pretty excited. I've never actually been to Blackwater, I don't think. So, yeah. so we're going to go down in that neck of the woods here and, and just so she can see it, we are wrapping up our Maryland hunting adventures. Had a great time. Lots of videos coming on that topic. But this is how you can definitely get a deer with your crossbow this season. If you haven't gotten a deer already, this video should help you out. We're going to give them some tips, huh, Genevieve? Yep. I say this over and over and on Death Bite Bungie, you know what I'm going to say. Accuracy is number one with crossbows. you got to be accurate. Get in the backyard, shoot your crossbow a whole bunch of times, and make sure you are accurate with your gear. In my opinion, <laughs> the most important part of crossbow hunting is familiarizing yourself with the anatomy of the deer. You can be accurate all day long in the backyard, but if you can't hit the harder lungs on a deer, you're not going to get too far. My dad's done a couple of videos on this channel about deer anatomy and shot placement. And not only do you need to be good at broadside shots, we also need to practice different shot angles because those vitals are going to change depending on which direction the deer's facing. Just get on the internet too and look at those diagrams, man. Look at them. They're all over the internet. Just type in deer anatomy, go look at them. Understand where the bones are, where the muscle is. You can kind of see that angle on here, right? When the deer's walking and all that stuff. They give you a little crease where you want to aim. And if you've got a faster crossbow, a more modern crossbow with a little bit heavier arrow, 450 grains or so, and uh, you know maybe if you're using a fixed blade broadhead or a good cutting mechanical, you can get up there in the shoulder a little bit better and get right in there where all those veins and arteries are. And there's lots of diagrams online, but those 150 grain sort of hackers, man, number 251, three inch cutting diameter, they get right in there, lots of penetration. And using coupon code Bungie2324, you can get 10% off your order of Swackers off the Swacker website. I'll put a link in the description. I'm not sponsored by anybody. Death by Bungie isn't sponsored by anybody other than you, friends of Bungie. But, and I don't get anything off of this other than I get 10% off every time I buy some broadheads. Number three is don't worry about gear, right? Back in, when I was playing guitar, I played a lot of guitar and stuff too. And we got a thing called gear acquisition syndrome. Gas, right? Don't get gas. Okay. <laughs> Don't get fixated on having the latest and greatest gear and worrying about the broadheads and all that stuff. Once you've got a broadhead that works good with your gear and you pick that broadhead, now it's time to make your gear work, right? Make your gear work. Use it properly. Understand it and use it. Don't be thinking, well, i got to buy this other piece of equipment and that will solve all my problems. Sometimes maybe it will, right? But you got to be honest with yourself and go through a season with the gear that you have and make that gear work. Don't get hung up on, and buying new stuff isn't gonna fix all your problems. You gotta get good with what you got. This is coming from a guy who hunted, now going on 14 seasons, in our 14th season, with a 2010 $500 crossbow that just killed two deer here in Maryland. How awesome is that, right? Don't need to do fancy crossbows. Don't need the new fancy scopes. I can get it done with the old stuff. The new stuff's nice too. No reason why you can't mix it up now and then, but, Focus on making what gear you have, get the best out of that gear. Two tips. One is 
don't over hunt. The tendency when you're first starting out, and I went through this myself, is to hunt every day. I'm going to get out there because exposure, right? The more I'm out there, the more I can actually be successful, more chance I have for success. That's not the case, right? Put all your eggs in the right basket. Go out there at the right time and get out there, you know, that last hour before sunset. Get out there, give yourself an afternoon hunt here and there. Deer will be, most likely be active in that last hour before sunset. And so you want to get there a couple hours before that and pick a really good day when the wind is right and it's going to be suitable for your hunting conditions, get out there and kill that deer. If you're out there all the time, those deer learn pretty quick, right? They get conditioned pretty quick and they figure it out. So we don't want them to get real comfortable with us. We don't want them to get so that they're afraid of you, right? Over hunting is a big reason why you won't be seeing deer. So. This is a good spot for whatever this is, but not necessarily for deer. <laughs> go where the deer are. That's another good one, right? It seems obvious. You obviously want to go where the deer are, but don't get hung up on hunting on just one property, right? If you love your property, I went through this myself, love the place where I grew up, want to hunt there and everything else, but you get to a point where you start to realize there's better places to hunt, right? You have to go where the deer are. And there's no shame in that. Don't feel like you have to produce on a deer on a certain property. Ask for permission to hunt someplace else where you've seen deer, where people are telling you that they see deer, and go where the deer are. Learn how to look for sign. Don't be afraid to hunt public ground. There's some great spots out there. And when you're first starting out, it's really important to get as close as possible to the deer. 20 yards is crossbow perfection. Man, I am loving this part of the world. Isn't that beautiful? So one of the things I want to talk to you about for sure right? I wrote about this in my book, The Death by Bungie Crossbow Method. Always hunt over bait. <laughs> and remember, bait takes a lot of different forms. There's corn that you can put on the ground in some places. If you can do that, you should do that if you are a new crossbow hunter because that gives you placement. It gives you the higher chance that the deer is going to be at a certain predictable yardage and you'll be able to get that shot and make a good shot. You can also have a food plot. You can also find out where there's acorns falling or where there's some clover, natural forage for deer and hunt over that if you can't actually put bait out. Bait takes lots of different forms. As the season progresses, those become our bait for bucks, right? So there are different ways to bait for deer and see how what's gonna attract deer to a specific location and get them in front of you. Bait is your friend as a crossbow hunter. I can't stress this one enough. Here's another good one. Shoot more does. <laughs> right, Genevieve? I'm good at that. <laughs> yeah, Genevieve has finally shot her first doe. She's been buck shooting bucks left and right. Had great success with that. But don't hold out for a buck on your first hunt if you're a new crossbow hunter, right? Or if you're getting in the swing of crossbows and you want to get your feet wet and you want to make sure you get your feet under you and start getting good with your gear, shoot some does, right? There's lots more does Man, the mosquitoes Ouch. here are something. Yeah, okay, let's hurry up. Let's hurry up. So, back into the sun a little bit. Back into the sun. <laughs> yeah, the mosquitoes are killing us. Holy cow. You get in the shade and they're all over you. All right, we're going to continue this in the truck. Okay. <laughs> she brought Thermacell with me. <laughs> yeah, down here in this place, it is just mosquito territory, that's for sure. It's a swamp, right? It's a swamp. But shoot more does. Does, there's lots of them out there. It's really good practice. You get to learn the vitals really well, the shot placement. You get to test your gear. It also is a challenge because when you got three or four deer in front of you, that's six or eight eyes that can catch you. That's three or four different noses and you know six or eight different ears that can hear you and all that good stuff. So it's a really good challenge. Don't overlook it shoot some does. I'm now in 14 seasons hunting with a crossbow and I can tell you out of the 50 some deer that I've shot now with a crossbow, 40 some of them are does, <laughs> right? So, um, you know, shoot more does. All cleaned up and shaved, looking good. Got a new rock t-shirt on. Genevieve and I are going to a concert tonight to see the final show. One of our favorite bands kicks while we're here in Maryland. How cool is that? Here is a big one. No, it's not Tupperware. <laughs> but when you're hunting with a crossbow, you're going to be using some manner of broadhead. Now here, we got actually, I'll show you in the Tupperware. I just threw the uh, broadheads in here. These are our used ones. And we've got 
four of them because we shot four. Wait, we got five of them. Look at that, five of them. Yeah, this one should went through a nice big buck. Look at that. But the key, the point of this is not to brag about this beat up Swahacker. No. <laughs> Boy, ain't that good looking? The point of this is to remind you that you need to sight in with your broadhead. Don't rely on your field points. Don't just shoot the field points and say, oh, that's good enough. You got to make sure that the broadhead that you are using shoots the same and that you're going to get repeatable, consistent accuracy, perfect accuracy in the field before you take that shot. What you do is you sacrifice, if you don't have a practice point that comes with it, with fixed blade broadheads, you can just shoot a fixed blade broadhead at one of your foam targets. With one of these mechanicals, you can either sacrifice one of them, shoot it, and just use that one for practice and for testing and for sighting it in. And then, presumably, the remainder of them should shoot the same. The other option with your mechanicals is to, uh, if you don't get a practice point, save your old ones and use those as practice points. You can glue them shut or whatever. We are all home. It's so great to be home and back looking at my 60 yard backyard look at the fog on the susquehanna river you can't beat it there is no place like home i love traveling though too i really have such a great time down there in maryland great trip great adventures coming up in videos here so make sure you stay tuned to death by bungee the last tip the last tip that i have for you is don't rush wait for a good shot and only take good shots that's important. I am so proud of Genevieve. All of the shots that she made down there killed two does, both shots perfect, right? And she did it with Bungie Jr. with a speed scope. Good equipment, no question about that. But she just did such a great job. It's not just the equipment, it's the person using the equipment, right? And she did such a great job. Bungie, with that new scope, you're, wait till you see the videos on this. I'm really proud of how that old slow crossbow performed down here. But the new crossbow got it done too. We got a video coming on the SWAT X1. The key is waiting for that right shot and just taking the shot when the good shot presents itself. Take good shots. Don't rush. Don't rush. Let the deer settle a little bit, right? Move real slow. Set up a good shot and take them down. That's what you got to do. So I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you go out there very soon, if not already, go out there and kill your first deer with a crossbow. And if you've already killed a whole bunch of deer with crossbows, then go out and shoot some more. <laughs> Have a great crossbow season. Stay tuned. And until next time, all hail Bungie.